Welcome to this short introduction about battery management systems for high voltage lithium ion battery packs. My name is Michael Weitz, I'm system engineer for automotive and I'm based in Freising, Germany. Today I want to talk about the general requirements for such kind of systems. Lithium ion is the technology for the upcoming hybrid and electrical vehicle generations. A typical block diagram of such a battery management system will look like this. A high voltage battery connects many cells in series. Next to the cells there are the cell monitoring blocks and the cell balancing parts block. They need to measure the single cell voltages and some temperatures. Send the information to the microcontroller and execute the balancing instruction they will receive back from the microcontroller. To really manage the battery system, the software needs not only the voltage information of each single cell, but as well the current information. The current measurement needs to be synchronized with the voltage measurements in order to calculate accurate cell impedance values. For all of the systems, there is a hardware switch which has two major functions. Standard disconnection of the high voltage system in parking position and the immediate disconnect and interruption of the current flow in safety critical failure conditions. Let's focus on the cell monitoring and balancing part of the system. As all cells are connected in series, it's required to keep the single state of charge of every cell at the same state. Temperature difference, aging factors or manufacturing spreads can cause a situation that single cells drift away from each other. This needs to be controlled by a balancing system. Textus Instruments offers two different solutions for this kind of problem. First one is the passive standard cell balancing approach. Second one is a highly efficient active cell balancing approach with the patent protected power pump technology of TI. Passive cell balancing can only discharge single cells and it converts all the energy of the single cell into heat. Active cell balancing can charge or discharge single cells by moving energy from one to the other cell with a high efficiency. Beside the heat loss, another advantage of the active cell balancing approach is shown in this example. With a passive cell balancing approach, the weakest cell in the system stops the battery from being used when it's reaching its lower voltage. With an active cell balancing approach, it's possible to move the energy in the system around while discharging and so enabling the customer to use all of the energy stored in the battery pack.